this is what we'll be building um, tonight. So this is a bee stand. I put three bees on, three beehives on it. Um, those are eight foot long boards there. So those are four by four treated wood. The four by sixes, um, or two by sixes, I'm sorry, are not treated. Um, as you can see, this is a year. That's what it looks like after a year. I'll show you tomorrow after I build it, installed what it looks like brand new. Um, they seem to be holding up well, but if these boards happen to break down, then I can certainly um, replace them pretty easily too. So once the posts are in, then you're pretty much good. Just unscrew it and put a new board there. So, so here's the stand. They work out pretty well. You can see there, and then I've got a, something in the middle I'll show you tonight. All right, there's the B stand. So I showed you the, the bee stands. Here's what we got. We're making three of them, so you don't need that much wood. But um, I've cut the posts, and that's a 2 by 6 by 8 feet. Um, that will be the outside. And uh, you'll need a saw or pre-cut the stuff at Home Depot. You're going to need a screwdriver and uh, some long nails. So I've set it up to screw in the first board. And uh, that's how we do it. Got the two sides made. Now I just have to connect these, put some support in the middle, and uh, that will be the first beehive stand. And then uh, I'll show you the installation later. Okay, there you have it. One bee stand. I, um, as you saw earlier, I put three on here. I don't know, maybe you could put four, but I like that space between because then I can put my frames in the the uh, the boxes between the the um, beehives as I'm working them and inspecting them each week so anyways there you go I'll put the instructions down below um, but next um, I'll show you how to install these into the ground we uh, built the beehive stands last night and um, it's the uh, next day so I'm going to show you the how to install them uh, pretty simple but Hopefully make your, your job a little bit easier and go by faster. Here's the uh, optional equipment. You can use whatever you'd like, but I highly recommend this. It will make the job go by a lot faster. Um, the main thing that will help is this, this um, I don't know, post dig, uh, post digger. I'll post a, a Amazon link down below on where I bought it. This thing is amazing. Um, I wasn't quite sure about it, but it has literally been a lifesaver so do that um, I've got spray paint there I'll show you what I do with that and a leveler um, that will just make your job look a little more professional so let's go look at the stand B stand completed or installed so we built it last night and uh, this is what it looks like when it's installed I just did one um, before I doing the next one I have a total of three and um, this is what it looks like installed. So it's it's right next to that B stand, and then the one we'll be working on is here. So the first step is to place your B stand where you want it, and then as you can see the yellow spray paint. This is where it comes into handy. You want to spray paint um, the post holes so you know exactly where to dig here. And uh, next step will be to dig. Okay, here's the, um, the tool here, um, basically just turn it, and holes are dug, see here, we got about a foot and a half, foot, yeah about a foot uh, deep, and then what I'll do is I'll move this over into the holes and then level it out. Finished product. We got the two stands ready to go and uh, all leveled out. Be joining these this year. We have a little bee yard back here. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, make uh, some great stands this year. Take care of your bees. Talk to you later.